morning. Today I'd like to share with you a, a neat little system that I've been playing with for the last few days. Um, this is actually something that I won from an Instructable contest. Um, so the people at Instructables um, uh, were good enough to send this to me. And um, what it is, is it is a Wi-Fi music system that's based on the Raspberry Pi. So there are different hardware and software components that allow you to um, set up a Wi-Fi music server where you can um, you can connect uh, this to your um, to your Wi-Fi router wirelessly, and then you can um, place different speakers in, around the house, and you can um, and you can run all your music through your smartphone. You can set it up so that you can play through one room or you can play through all the rooms. Uh, and just by using a series of, of, um, of these Raspberry Pis um, that you hook up to, um, to, different, to different audio systems or different players, uh, you can go ahead and, um, and have a multi-room system uh, that you can configure yourself. And you're not tied to, say, like a Sono system and, and the types of players that they, are, that they offer. Um, you can use this with your existing audio equipment, your existing stereo equipment. You can use it um, if you have a Bluetooth player with an auxiliary jack in. You can use it with that. Um, you can um, you you can make powered speakers for yourself and use that. Um, and uh, and and it's a really nice flexible system. So the system consists of, of, of several parts here. Um, the basis of it is the Raspberry Pi. Um, that's it here. Um, and then we have a, um, a Just Boom DAC hat. And um, this is a digital analog converter. So it takes the, the digital signals um, from the Raspberry Pi um, changes them out to an analog signal that you can send to an amplifier um, so that you can you can play your music. Um, this is looks, let's have a look at some of the technical specs on this. This is based on a uh, PCM5122 DAC chip which runs at 384 kilohertz and full 32-bit conversion. Um, so this thing, um, it, it, it sounds wonderful. So this is a DAC hat, so it sits here on top of the, um, on top of the Raspberry Pi. I'll show you how that lot goes in together. Um, with this DAC hat, uh, you get a, a little infrared sensor so that if you want to use a, um, if you want to use a remote control, you can actually control the DAC hat here with, um, with a remote control. Just Boom puts out a, a bunch of different products, um, and uh, from what I can see, they're they're really they're really wonderful. I mean, they they also offer an amplifier system um, that you can stack on top of here as well, um, so you can run everything as a neat little package. So you can have your uh, Raspberry Pi, which is your server. You can have your um, your DAC board, which is your audio output. And then you can tie that directly into an amplifier that'll sit directly up on here. And, um, and then you can use the signal from that amplifier to drive a set of, uh, of speakers, if you want, um, directly off of here. So it's, it's a neat little system. Um, so that's the hardware side. Oh, and also, um, there's a case that goes along with this. This is a Just Boom case. And... Um, you know, you can fit everything inside this Just Boom case to make it a nice little uh, clean system. Um, so that's it for the hardware side. On the software side, um, um, you can, uh, um, you need an SD card, okay? This is an SD card um, that has um, noobs on it. So this has the um, the operating system for running the um, for running the Raspberry Pi, um, but there are different operating systems. And in fact, um, there's a company Max2Play out of Germany, 
uh, maxduplay.com. They have a wonderful Raspberry Pi operating system that will um, allow you to control um, your whole house audio. Um, and it, um, so you can download the, uh, the operating system on their website and, um, and, and install it here on the Raspberry Pi. So instead of using, say, Raspbian, um, you can go ahead and um, download their operating system, their, their Raspberry Pi image, um, download it onto a, an SD card, and then, um, and then run your system that way. Okay, um, so the Max to Play system um, is based on the squeeze box um, player type system. So squeeze box was bought up by Logitech. Um, it's now called Logitech Music Server, um, and. Uh, it allow it's a really great system um, that allows um, you to run multiple players from a single server. So again, you can you can put uh, one of these little systems um, in each room of your house and have it run um, either your stereo or a pair of powered speakers or with an amplifier, a, 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 just a set of speakers or a um, you know a Bluetooth player if you want. Um, um, so it's a so so it's a great great powerful system. Um, now, you know I've been thinking about this for a while. I mean, I build Bluetooth speakers, um, and Bluetooth speakers are really nice if you are using them as a portable system. All right, so say you have a, um, you want to take something with you uh, to a party or something, and, um, and, and you know, you, you've got all your music on your, on your phone or on your tablet, and uh, you can go ahead and, um, and use the Bluetooth system to, to drive that, and it sounds pretty good. Um, but Bluetooth will not allow you to contr control more than one um, more than one um, player at a time. Okay. Uh, now I know there are some some Bluetooth systems that allow you to control two, but for the most part, uh, and for everything I build, you can only control one player at a time with the Bluetooth. Okay, so that's a limitation. The second limitation is that there is a definite um, range to where you can use Bluetooth. Um, it, and it's about 30 feet. So if you if you wander off, or if your Bluetooth player, if, you, if your phone is in your pocket, you wander off more than about 30 feet from where the um, from from where your Bluetooth player is, um, you lose your signal. Okay. Um, and Bluetooth uh, is a processed audio system. All right. So that. Although the Bluetooth signals and the Bluetooth audio that you get is really, really good, um, when you go to a system like this, um, it's lossless. Nothing's lost from the from the original um, from the original signal. Okay. Um, so what so what I wanted to explore is is to have a system that I can set up as a whole house system. So that's connected by the Wi-Fi. I can run it off of any tablet or phone that I have. Um, I can put it on my wife's Kindle Fire and she can run it um, wherever she wants. Um, and, uh, and this is obviously a home system so it's not, I'm not going to be moving it around. So once I have it set up on the server, it is going to be set and it's going to run anytime I want to do it. Okay. Um, now this system, with the Max to Play and the and the Just Boom, and the Raspberry Pi, this is all supposed to be a plug and play system. All right, let me tell you, I struggled with this for three days. Now I am not an engineer; I'm a hobbyist. Um, 
I have not done any programming since um, first year of college, which is many, many years ago. Um, I've had, a, like I said, I've had a little bit of experience programming in, in Linux. Um, this is a mostly a plug and play system, so there's very minimal, there's very minimal um, programming involved. But there is a fair amount of setup to get it working. Okay, so what I want to do is um, put up at least a couple of videos showing you how I set up my system and sort of the things that you can do with this. Um, and I think this, this has some very exciting possibilities. Um, you know, since I build music players out of old radios, out of suitcases, um, pretty much out of anything that I find interesting, it would be great to be able to have this system as a um, as an alternative to Bluetooth. So, say I have a customer who wants to who wants to customize um, their uh, their 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 home audio system. Uh, they don't want to use a Sonos system. Um, they would. Um, also like to um, you know use their existing stuff uh, they don't want to tie into uh, into buying components um, this would be great I could marry this with say a an old radio conversion and um, and allow this and for the customer to hook it up to his house um, to his house Wi-Fi system and then um, and then have multiple players in different rooms uh, it would be great. Um, I, you know, I had a client who was interested in one of my players, um, but he wanted he wanted to be able to play all of his music that was on his home computer. So um, I believe he was using iTunes. So he had all his CDs um, put into iTunes, and uh, and he wanted to be able to take his player, say, downstairs. Not, not always in his office, but sometimes downstairs to the bedroom, whatever. Um, and he couldn't do that with Bluetooth because of the, of the range of the Bluetooth. So if he had a system like this, um, he could certainly do that. Now, you know, there, I mean, there's, there's other systems out there. Um, here's a Google... Um, Chromecast audio. Um, this is a very easy plug and play system. It, it does similar things to this, but this is an open source system. Okay. Um, I can control the players, I can control the software that I put on here. Um, if I get good enough, I could write little programs to, to customize um, a player, uh, you know, a, you know, a, 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 you know, software controller. Um, so I think this has a lot of advantages over the Chromecast. Um, I don't know what the sound difference is between them. Um, I would expect that having this DAC hat would give me a better sound than this, but I don't know. And I'll probably have a look at that down the line and, um, and make a video on that. But I just wanted to do this sort of as an introduction so that uh, I can show you what I'm going to do. Um, the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to put this, um, you know, put, put this system together, put the hardware together, put the hardware in the, um, in the case, and then show you um, sort of how I programmed it to be able to play um, music in my system. All right, so if this is something that, um, that you think you would be interested in, uh, follow along and uh, we'll do some videos here as we go along. All right, thanks for watching.